right, when you're using your petite, if you start hearing this, stop what you're doing. Your small drum is too close to the big drum. And if you continue, you're gonna literally rip the carding cloth apart. And that's gonna cost you a fortune. Adjusting the spacing on a petite really is quite easy. It's done by moving the drum in, moving the small drum in and out, and that's done by virtue of these bearing blocks. You notice the bearing blocks, the hole that the, the drum goes through is a little off center. So by turning this, you're moving the drum back and forth. All petites come with two adjusting rods. If you don't have them, you can use a knitting needle, a long nail, whatever will fit those into little holes that are on top of the bearing blocks. What you need to do first is remove the belt. If you leave the belt on, it tends to pull on the drum and adjustment just becomes more difficult. Loosen up your thumb screws a little bit. The, drum, the bearing block on this side, you can move by, usually you can move by hand. If you can't, because it's a little tight in the, uh, in, in the frame, use your rods. And what you want to do is, you can tell by the noise and this, by when you're turning the large drum, it's a racket. So you want to put your, bear, you put your rod in the hole move up a little bit until the noise stops and move it closer again until you hear the noise then go back so it stops and then lightly tighten your thumb screw do the same yep, leave it in there do the same on the other side you hear the noise or you can hit you can feel the drum moving move up a little bit until it stops. Lock it in place. Lock both of them finger tight. Put your belt back on. And the easy way to do that is here, make sure it's a figure eight. Go around the small drum and pop it on. Now when you crank, nothing. If you hear an occasional click, that's okay. You're, you're, you're you're the proper distance because remember you've got lots and lots of pins on the little drum and the big drum. All these pins have been carefully machined so they're even but there's always one or two pins that's a little bit longer and that's sometimes that's what I listen for when I build them in the shop. That, that's, not what, that's what you should hear. Make sure these are finger tight. Do not use pliers because you'll break off the wood and you don't want to do that. That's it. You're done.